This is Jason Porter with the Red Hat Developers Program, and I'm here with Thomas Kvostrom. Kvostrom, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Very good. And you work uh, on the uh, marketing side for EAP, correct? Yes. Very good. Very good. Now, uh, EAP, for those that don't know, that is our product version for the application server in the Java middleware space. Yes. And uh, how? So, what, what's the the most current version of uh, EAP? So, EAP is currently running 7.0. Uh, 7.0 version. We were, are planning on releasing 7.1 somewhere during the summer. Well, during June probably is, is, is the okay. plan right now. Very good. And that's based on uh, Wildfly, uh, Wildfly version 10, correct? Yes. And that is running the Java uh, Enterprise Edition version 7 as well. Yes. Very good. And uh, how, so just uh, getting into the, the uh, support side, you know, as, as a product, how long do we support versions of EAP? So we support them. Uh, we support them up to seven years. But you can also, if 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 you actually want to have more extended support, you can have support up up to thirteen years with Abus EP. But that's going to cost a bit extra. But but that's that's how long we can actually support Abus EP. So it's it's definitely it's one of our longest supported middleware products at Red Hat. Right. Very good. Now I, I think one of the uh, the things that you know I I get questions a lot from people in the community. If I've got Wildfly out there and EAP, why should I choose EAP? What, what's so different about it? Yeah, absolutely. So number one reason, we shouldn't be too much differences because we are based on the same code base and the same everything. But the deep difference is how you consume it. So when and a customer consumes the Abus EEP, they can be sure that they can run the same version uh, for, for up to 13 years. So obviously there will be patches and updated, but they will be feature-wise, they will be, be, be working exactly as the, as the previous version. So you shouldn't, shouldn't experience any changes in, in the features and anything like that. If you're on community version, Community version has a shorter li lifespan, so uh -huh. we are we're, we're patching the latest version of a community version for a, for a certain amount of time. But after that, we move along to the next major version. Right. And, right. and obviously, that, that should be like that because of speed of innovation and anything we wanted to have in the community. Right. So, so the difference is actually that, that EEP picks up, so you can be more safe to have the latest patches and everything like that if you're using Gables EEP. But it's going to be. Uh, but if you and but community is uh, adopting new features faster. Right. Right. Uh, another key thing is the uh, the support channel that you have access to when when you uh, when you use the the product and you get that su the support subscription. Obviously, yes. Right. Yeah, if so. I'm using uh, Wildfly, you know, it, something breaks. The the best I've got is uh, forums or Stack Overflow or whatnot. Exactly. With, with EAP, you know, I, I've got a, a support person I can contact. Absolutely. You know, and I've got uh, whatever my SLA is with with Red Hat, and I can go and, and talk to them. Exactly, and and we will ha will help you find issues even if it's if it's outside the Abus EAP typically. So even if you have issues with other 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 software that you're talking to or other thing, we will help you. So we have partnerships, for example, with with other database vendors, etc. So we can actually take support the, the tickets and carry them on onto, for example, Oracle if there's an Oracle database issue or, or things like that. So we, uh, yeah, there's definitely. Uh, and support is, is our main feature, you know, the main main feature of having an enterprise right. product like this. Right, very good. Now, uh, what uh, for you, what do you find most uh, most rewarding working with EAP? Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, I... I uh, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Java guy since a long time ago. I've been working with Java E for, for over 15 years. Uh, I... So working with Abus EEP, it feels like Abus EEP today is is the absolute. It, it is the absolute. It, it is the biggest open source Java EE uh, product out there. Uh, it's uh, it, it's uh, out of the three major vendors today. I'm not gonna say which today here, but <laughs> out of the three major vendors, I would say we are. I would say we are the best let's products. See, see. One's over there. <laughs> one's, one's over, over there. there. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I would say we, we are the, the leanest and best and, and, and the most performant one actually. In, uh, in, in, so I, I really I really enjoy working with all the professional people in the team as well. We have uh, really really smart engineers in the team. It's uh, it's a product that is very very good supported. We have uh, very very good. What um, uh, it's, uh, it, it's 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 actually. From that perspective, it's it's absolutely one of our best and most stable product. It's, it is for the middleware part, part. It's like RHEL. It's a rock solid product with rock solid engineers and rock solid support, etc. So that's that's what I like to work with EV. Ah, oh, very good. Now you said uh, you came from an engineering background. Do you get the chance to sit down and hack sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
part of my I, I'm, a, I'm a technical marketing person I should say that as well so part of my work is to do actually do conferences like this and and actually do demos and show what's happening so uh, for example here at Red Hat Summit we did a, we did a, a lab here where we modernized and Java application so we took a monolithic Java e application put it into OpenShift uh, we, together with OpenShift, we, we could we could also implement things like pipelines and how to deliver that, etc. So that was all based on Java's EP, moving a, a traditional Java EP application into OpenShift, and then we started strangling that, strangling that application and moving it over to things like Wildfly Swarm. Okay, and cool. So that is uh, so that's one of the labs we've done, of course. So that that involves a lot of coding. Oh, definitely, definitely. Like now, uh, for for those out there that want to get started with EAP, where where do I go? So the, the best way to go is to developers.reddit.com and you sign up for a zero dollar subscription. So that and if you if you done that, you you can download and you can uh, you download the latest version of Yabus EP. And you uh, it will not you will not necessarily have the latest patches as a developer, but you don't really care about the patches. It's not meant to be in production environment. It's meant to be, but it's it's the same uh, feature wise. It's exactly the same uh, software that you will put in production later on. So you're free to use it. For development as yeah, much as right. you want. Yeah, yeah, for for development. That's yeah. uh, that's the key. If yeah. you're looking at the the zero dollar uh, subscription, that's for development. And as soon as you're ready to go to production, then contact contact us, and we'll get you signed up for a support contract. Yes. Very good. All right. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Have a great day.